you're catching rainbows there. Go. Let's just take you to a better location. There. Oh yeah, that looks cute. There you go. Enjoy the rainbows. I don't know if you can see the other one here. Let's check that out. There you go. Enjoy your rainbow. I'll just center it on the big bright one. A little bit of bird and bug song. <clears throat> and again, absolutely no fucking leprechaun's pot of gold. Now, if you go back over this way, not that there's a rainbow there now, but pots of gold up there. Or bad gold. Well, and of course, there's a good mix in all the sand here, just like there's a good mix of uranium in all the, all the sand here, right? because it's all been tilled up by massive glacial dam bursts. Massive torrents of water washing here and all the way down into Washington. Just like if Downey Slide on the Columbia River north of Revelstoke Dam burst. Or Mica Dam up above it. Wash that out and Revelstoke Dam and the Arrows Dam and, and them other eight dams down river and well you can imagine the water eh? That that's like the glacial dams. That's the kind of volume that wash down here and all the way out down to Soyuz and down into Washington. And also provide Washington with all that fine quality, really well mixed rock and minerals and metals and that the plants eventually took over on the plane there. Yeah, well, you know, somebody's misfortune wait a long time later be somebody's bonanza for a while, anyhow. Oh, that's a pretty rainbow. Maybe we'll give you a little more close up on it, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. We can do that. Cut out that other very faint one, just to give you a little more. Oh, that'll be our limit there. Yeah, that's it. Rainbows. The rainbow's done. Exchanging it. It's um, colorful hues of photons. Reflection. It's withdrawing it from the earth now. 
Extracted a part of Leprechaun's gold, I guess. So. Back up to heaven we go. <coughs> and, you know, do whatever. Reline their engine or. You know, you do gold and then you do, uh, like, depleted uranium inside. And that's your ion source, you know, like, um, like, using Xeon, Xenon, like they do on the space shuttle and, uh, a few of the other space probes, uh, stars with space probes. Ah, oh, well done, Galileo. I see. Good Arden gang got you there, so. Now we'll, we'll just see if a galactic core burst could actually spark you back up into the sun. Probably not. You'd have to have so much cosmic pushback to, to shrink and separate you from Sol's astrosphere. <clears throat> I think that would be the only condition. That, or, or if you got too gravitation, too, too close. But, you know. Skull and Haiti chasing the sun and the moon, eh? Just don't ask me which is Jupiter and which is Saturn, so. And of course, nobody's seen their father. This is the black hole grip somewhere out there, I guess, sparing him. I would assume gravitationally bound. Which sort of gives us our 11 year, 11 year ish solar cycle. So, I'm gonna guess he's more bound to Jupiter. So Jupiter would be the skull and the one that eats the sun. And Saturn eats the moon. Again, it would have to be one hell of a heavy Ragnarok for them to spark up again. Enough to insulate them from their connectivity, their oneness within the soul's big ast astrosphere. Ah, well, strange star stuff happens. Everything you can imagine happens. And you know why? Because there's so damn many stars out there. Every kind, shape, form, age. You name it. So, get going. What's the only thing that's going to distract you fuckers from killing one another? You're very, very stupid talking monkeys. As I keep telling you. I hope that makes your stay here more unpleasant to help motivate you to get going to Mars. It's kind of a, a universal joke because you're so bad and murderous. Murderous doing all that needless destruction and stuff, that's your chance to pay back to the universe. <clears throat> if you're ever banished from life worlds and thereby motivated to make your own terraform your own and redeem yourself by serving life that you needlessly destroyed and extinct, including my earth, serve it out there and 
what was it Kwai Chang used to say there ten times over and let that be your penance and by that time you'll get it and maybe that'll make you feel so good it'll be habitual and that's what you'll do instead of destroying and ripping off and creating scarcity and monopolizing and lying and destroying making little or nothing out of everything because it fucks yeah, enjoy your last twist of the rainbow that was the last back tune this is now I want my earth back <clears throat> so I can go to rest with it so much for having an ex a thousand year retirement party <laughs> after you fuck sped up its desolation and you're fucking playing with wasting starship fuel on making bombs fuck fucking teenagers get the fuck out Get your ass in gear and get the fuck on, you stupid talking monkey bastards. And drop them fucking clubs and sticks and bones and stuff. No more beating nothing in. Not even your own heads. Go! Get fucking going! <laughs>